What's up guys and welcome to the tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. Some of you guys will be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? Um, I will go watch that reading. If you have that on your chart, I will go watch that reading. Scorpio! What's up, Scorby? Thank you so much for... Oh, look at your card showing up. Let's dig. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing swell today. You have the death card, the two of swords, the seven of wands, and the five of cups. Side note. Um, you definitely are ending something, all right? You're indecisive as to how you should end this, but I feel like you're thinking way too much about it. You're too much about the, oh, this sucks. <laughs> all right, get ruthless with it. Cancer is in Mars right now. <laughs> um, that's like one of the worst placements ever. Um, so, you know, Mars right now, you are... You, Pluto is your ruling planet, but Mars was your first. So I'm going to stick with that. I'm, I always say that Pluto and Mars is your ruling planet, Scorpio. And I feel like Mars right now really is really wanting you to like look at the sadness like look at what happened like how do you feel and you're just like i just want to get over it <laughs> and mars is kind of like um no how do you feel like work through it feel it and you're just like no i just wanted to just leave me alone but i feel like you need to scorpio okay um and with the five of cups like it's not like a, di a, a deep dive, right? Um, I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you're going to be stuck in this. Oh, sad, man. You know? But you got to remember, Scorpio, that you do this. You're not new to this. You're true to this, right? Maybe it's been a while since you've had to end something in your life, right? Maybe it's been a while since you felt this sadness, this disappointing energy that you have to end this, right? But you know that this is what you come to do. This is your card. You come into people's lives to show them what they need to change and what needs to tra transform. You also come and transform situations as well. So, you know, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, right? Okay, Scorp. So I'm going to pull um, two oracles, clarify, and give you some advice. I'm an Aries, so Mars and Cancer is so annoying. Like, I'm not even up front. Like, Mar I'm also ruled by Mars, all right? And it's just like, and it's crazy because, <laughs> like, two days ago, like, I, I forgot what I was doing, but I was in my car, and, uh, yeah, I can skip this. I'm just, I'm just chatting right now, but I was in my car, and, like, I used to have really bad road rage, all right? Again, I'm an Aries, <laughs> zero to 100, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I worked on that, right? And so I was driving and like, I just felt so, like, I just got so mad. And then like, you know, obviously I worked on myself. So I know like once I, once I start feeling a certain way, I know how to calm myself down or whatever. So I started doing that. And it was like, the anger was like, no, why are you mad? Look at it. And I'm just like, can I just, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> And it, it's just, so, it's annoying, like, it's annoying, it's annoying, but it's a reason, there's a reason, right, um, there's a reason, so, there's a reason, Scorpio, just gotta look at it, alright, and that's, that, that was, like, the two, now, like, things have just been happening, and, like, I have to remind myself, Mars is in Cancer, Mars is in Cancer, cause it's like, bro, get out of there, I think it's in there till next month, so, <laughs> Woosa! All right? Okay, so you have illumination, embracing, community in reverse, thriving, and purification in reverse at the bottom of the deck. You're about to see who's really on your side and who's not. Okay, um... It's anything like Gemini's reading. It's like, it's like, it's like overnight. You're gonna realize this, but you're also gonna realize who you belong with who belongs with you whatever it's like it's like a it's like a switch a swap or something <laughs> all right with thriving you're actually going to do a lot better in this wherever you're where whatever you're embracing you're going to do a lot better here okay with purification in reverse 
you you need to cry. Don't avoid feeling the emotions of realizing that there's certain people um, around you that you can't trust, right? It might be like a hard pill to swallow or you're just like, I don't got time for that. Or like I said, maybe it's been a while since you've actually had to, tr had this, since you've had to, the death card really end something for real, you know? And, um, why don't you want to look at it? Abundance and reverse and solitude. Because you feel like you were done wrong in a situation. You feel like it's unfair. You feel like you shouldn't have to be the one to, um, be moving in the way that you're moving. But Scorpio... You under you listen. You have to understand, and I, and I know that you know this kind of sucks, but I have to make I have to make a collective. And keep freaking coming up. I don't have time, but I can make time. I just whatever. I'm chatting today. Um, the thing is that Scorpio, you are a Scorpio. You were born a Scorpio. You and I know it sounds crazy, but literally. People, I, I feel like, I feel like if you're born a Scorpio, you were born for people to, to, to fuck you up, to screw you over, to play games with you, to, like, you, that is something that comes with the, with the title of being a Scorpio. And whatever placement you have, Scorpio, that's always going to happen. All your life, I know that you can tell me, every single one of y'all watching could be like, yeah, since I was 13, yeah, since I was five, right? It's a non-stop thing. But you have to understand that those people, they don't come into your life. Some of them do. Some people are ill. But most of the people come into your they don't come into your life with, oh, I'm about to destroy Scorpio. That's not their intention. Once you show them, you know, hey, you need to this needs to go in your life. Hey, you should have fixed this. Hey, you should address this. And and whatever way you do it, that's when they're like attack mode. Now I gotta come at Scorpio because who Scorpio think they are trying to tell me to change, trying to tell me to be a better person? Who are they? <laughs> they're not perfect. <laughs> like you know, like it, then it gets all egotistical and stuff. But people don't understand that, that that the same way, the same way you show others stuff is the same thing you do to yourself. And people don't see that. People just automatically believe that you're doing it to others, and you think you know, but. You you have to listen. I'm an Aries sun, all right? I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart. Once I started this situation, right? This spiritual journey of mine and I started digging deeper into my chart and who I really am and all my planets, I understood why since I was 13, people have been fucking me over and spitting in my face. And all I've been doing is, "Hey. Hey." And I just been getting slapped in my face since I was 13, you know? And then it got to a point when I was 23, 4 I don't remember, 22 maybe, that I was like, I'm tired of getting slapped. I don't deserve these freaking slaps anymore. And I had to realize that I can't control people, right? Because we can't. And you have to know, like, if somebody's showing you or fighting against what you're showing them, then you got to go. That is your time to go. It's not sit there and push and no, but look, I mean, well, no, but look, this is da 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 da. If they're not seeing it, you got to go. As much as you know deep down that your intentions are pure and whatever, you got to go. Okay, so I don't want you guys to go through, because I know having a Scorpio as a sun sign is different than having it in the placements that I have it. I know it's more ah, for you guys, right? But if you could try to look at the world in that way, like even for, even, even as an Aries, you know, like I... I had to learn that people are intimidated by me. And I, I know I'm chatting a lot, whatever. Um, I feel like some of you guys need to hear this. And, you know, I was like, why is it, like, what's the problem? Like, I don't, I just go around my day being me. I'm very nice to everybody. I'm very outgoing. Like, but the thing is that people get intimidated by my confidence, by my strength, how I don't give a fuck and how confident I am in that and my truth and my integrity. And that imitates, you know, that's, that. That's called imitates to other people who are not in that space, right? And for a long time, I used to be like, well, what's everybody's problem? Like, da 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 And it's just that I'm being a, a type of person that they wish that they could be or that they strive to be. And instead of them asking, hey, how did you get to da 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 They just hate. Same thing with you. I feel like people automatically assume that you put you in a certain category because of how you come off but it's not even like that and it and it's like maybe some of you guys try to convince people or try to show them your true heart right because you, you as a scorpio you also know like your energy how it comes off you guys are very intense like just being around a scorpio you feel that I, that's one of the reasons why i love y'all like i mean 
you know, we here, how about Scorpio too, but you know, people feel that intense energy and I feel like you know that and maybe you're just like, no, but listen, like, this is why, da, 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 F that, stop explaining yourself, stop explaining yourself, stillness, yeah, you don't need to do anything, you don't need to do anything, you need to do what's best for you and that's it, I don't know why I talk all of that, all right, <clears throat> All right, the first card you have is Adventures in Reverse, okay? So you're no longer having fun here. You have Turn Away and Dive Deep in Reverse, okay? I feel like you need to turn away from something here because you're no longer... Um, when you no longer want to investigate a situation, when you no longer want to, like, be all up in it, that's a sign, you know, especially for you, Scorpio, because you love being all up in it. You know what I'm saying? What's Adventures in Reverse, Turn Away and Dive Deep? in reverse you have the ten of pentacles the moon king of cups in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse this could be a family situation a work situation a cancer pisces scorpio ten of cups is here all right i do feel like there's a lot of fear in turning away from this here because i feel like you've built a lot um of stability a lot like you've You've built a lot here, a, a good solid foundation. But I feel like with the King of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Wands in reverse, it's like nothing is going to come out come out of this. Okay, with this King of Cups in reverse, I feel like the situation is emotionally manipulating you to stay because oh look at how much time you put into this. Look at all the work. Look at how far you've gotten. Like da 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 da. da. You you don't want to leave that. You don't want to whatever, right? It's gonna be a cancer trying to manipulate you here. You have the Ace of Wands in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. The universe is telling you reject this. Say no. Does it? It's okay for you to start over. I know you don't want to, but you need to. And also remember that's part of your. That's part of being a Scorpio. Scorpio, is, <clears throat> is starting over. Like that's your life. The Hierophant in reverse, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Cups. And I feel like you're going to be a lot happier. But if you stay, you're not. If you stay, the situation is going to turn against you. The situation doesn't even, doesn't even follow the rules. This person is not following the rules on purpose, okay? Because they don't want you to leave. They don't want you to go. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Queen of Cups, and the Page of Swords. But you're going to get some type of information that this person is not reliable or not consistent or the situation isn't. And I feel like you're still going to want to nurture. You're still going to want to take care of it. You're still going to want to be some type of understanding. And I feel like, but that's just, be, but you're only doing that because you're just like, well, if I'm not, the other, the other, the other part of that is something I don't want to deal with. Two of Pentacles. But you got to deal with the, figuring it out right now so that you can be in this four of wands energy and something stable and solid don't settle because it's easier right now or whatever you know what i'm saying don't do that what is this ace of cup um ace of wands in reverse and the five of <laughs> king of cups in reverse five of cups yeah you, you are gonna have to take this l scorpio but remember there's no it's never an l it's never an l because there's always something better. It, it, it's a loss because it's leaving your life. But it's not a... It's like, you know, there's always something better, guys. Seriously. Remember that. Remember that. There's always something better. There's always something better. All right? The King of Wands, the Eight of Swords in reverse, and the Sun in reverse. Yeah, I feel this person wants you to... Um, this, person, this situation is on your ass, okay? And they, it's kind of like they're so sure that if they if they continue to be on your ass, if they continue to chase you, if they continue to be on top of you, that you're going to stay. But the sun is in reverse. I feel like they want you to settle. They know that you're not happy there. But they still want you to push to stay. That is not fair for you. What is the moon? The four of cups, the three of swords, and the knight of pentacles. You're going to end up being hurt in this situation if you stay, for real. Even if you're like, oh, slow and steady, I'll take my time. You're going to slowly, you're slowly causing pain and disappointment. Ten of pentacles is in reverse. You're slowly deterior deteriorating your finances and your stability. I don't know what the freak is going on with y'all, Scorpio. Six of wands. If you turn away from something, you will be successful. It's not about taking it slow. It's not about, oh, I'm going to just whatever. I'm going to be committed. I'm going to be reliable to what? To, an, to a situation that's emotionally manipulating you? That's what you're going to be. That's what you're going to be. Um, 
reliable to something who's not reliable to you it's kind of like it's kind of like there's something that you need to do for yourself and you're like no i'm not gonna do it because if i do it then you know the like what f them who cares you're not doing something because you want to see somebody else fail or a situation fail you're doing something because you need to dive deep in reverse your heart space your emotions are emotionally closed off and i feel like your inner child is trying to like get your attention because i feel like something here is is like one you're no longer having fun and two is making you cold and bitter i gotta be honest it's making you a cold and bitter mother effort all right or down the road it will turn it will make you that you know the next card you have is focus okay so i feel like the universe wants you to be focused right now you have ask for help and support in reverse wow what a freaking contradiction so there's people that you should accept help from and then there's people that you shouldn't and you need to pay attention so that you see who are the people that are in your space and who are not because i feel like it's going to be they're going to tell on themselves I love when people do that. Oh my gosh. Like I feel like it's the best thing since sliced bread. It's so it's so amazing. Especially when you're an honest and integral person all the time. And I don't know. I just love it. I just think it's the coolest thing ever. Because I just because then to see other people's faces when you bring it up to them. They're like. Oh, oh, but the, oh, but, oh, oh, oh. Like why y'all lying? We grown man. Who y'all trying to impress? Like this is just. It's just corny. Okay, you have the Hierophant in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Page of Swords. <sighs> yeah, you're going to realize that, that, the, that the situation that you're like, oh, you know, I'm going to go slow and I'm going to be committed and I'm going to take my time because that's what they deserve from me, right? They're the ones that's going to speak, they're the ones that's going to do you wrong. They're the, the people... The higher for members could be a marriage, a commitment, or an institution. Whoever you were like, oh, I'm going to do whatever, even though they were spitting in your cereal, those are the ones that you can't, that don't have any support for you at all, okay? And I feel like you're going to get some type of communication that is going to be like, okay, F ya, all right? Now, the one that's asked for help is the two of cups in reverse and the four of swords. The other, these, these other people here, I feel like there is a weird disconnect, but it's the option that you should take. There's a weird disconnect, though, with this Two of Cups. What's this Two of Cups? Three of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Ace of Swords with the Hanged Man. So the thing is that Scorpio... Hold on. Oh, you, you gotta do something. So is this Scorpio? yes okay so the thing is that scorpio the death card the thing is that um the option that you should go and ask for help for or the option that you should take you're disconnected from it and i feel like it's something that you did you just dis you disconnected from this person all right and caused some type of delays because they weren't keeping their promise whatever but i feel like now you know why somebody didn't keep their promise i i don't know how you know it but you know it all right and i feel like the universe is like change your perspective now that you know right why somebody couldn't keep their promise um i feel like the universe wants you to reveal it's kind of like they want you to reach out to this person and be like hey i'm sorry i you know was just really stuck in a negative energy because with the devil card in reverse you could have been thinking a lot of negative thoughts and now <clears throat> you're in a better mindset you're in a better living space whatever and i feel like you're realizing like oh wait hold on like i actually misjudged this situation or this person or whatever all right <clears throat> If it was them that, that disconnected from you, I feel like they're about to come and say this to you, okay? And you could trust it, all right? But if it's but a lot of you, it's you, and that's why you're kind of leaning towards the support in reverse. The people that you know don't trust you, um, because <clears throat> I feel like these people don't trust you because they know that you will call them out on their shit. It's like, it's, like, it's like these people or this person has to like walk on like you know eggshells around you because they know you, you're not the one you're not the one the two or the three you know what i'm saying 
So because of that, they, they try to break the rules. They, they try to go against the rules because I feel like you go with the rules. And not only do you follow the rules, you also um, always win. Because you're following the rules. So that's why these people or this person always tries to go against you because you you always win somehow. Of course, if you keep it truth and integral, you always gonna win. But yeah, and I feel like you're trying to go over there because this person is not available. Or you're just like, yeah, I kind of effed that up, so I'm just not gonna. But I feel like if you reach out or whatever, it's gonna work out fine. But it's up to you, right? But if you don't want to reach out or whatever, that's fine. Just don't hang out. Just don't take. Don't take support from people who you know don't have good intentions for you, period. Even if it's, there, it's the last resort. Wait for the universe to bring you someone else. But I really feel like you're being guided to or wait till the universe brings you another avenue, another option. But I do feel like if you need help right now, you need to suck it up and say something. Okay? The last card you have is gateway in reverse. All right? So I feel like um, you're not going nowhere. So where you, what you thought? This is what I'm getting. You're not going nowhere. You have solitude. Yeah, I feel like the universe is like, sit down. Sit down. You're not going nowhere. I don't know what this is. What is solitude and gateway in reverse? These readings today were not supposed to be this long. Funny. It's funny. What's gateway in reverse and solitude? You have the devil, the nine of pentacles in reverse, the eight of wands, and the eight of cups in reverse. Oh, you already left. Wait, what? This devil here is um enticing. Six of wands. Okay, so this is kind of giving me like you're trying to you're trying to escape the devil energy, right? A very negative attachment that you have to something or someone. All right. <clears throat> now a lot of y'all, a lot of you guys are trying to be drastic with it. Okay, like for example, if the devil is a partner. This is the, that's the easiest example I could think of. You're leaving the partner, and you're like, you know what? F it. I, you know, you live in New York, and you're like, I'm going. I'm moving to Cali. Fuck there. Like I'm moving to Cali. Ah, I don't care. I want to be alone. Fuck there. Da, 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 da. Right. <clears throat> um, you're, you know, be a little more realistic, um, Scorpio. I feel like you are going to be detached from the devil energy. You will, but you need to slow down a little bit. Like, I feel like you want to, like, escape it, and it's not... With the Eight of Cups is in reverse, it's kind of like... <laughs> you can't go nowhere, though. Like, I feel like... I feel like you can distance yourself afar from the devil, but it's like you made a deal with the devil, or, you know, especially if you have kids with this person, like, you, you, you don't do that to the kids. Don't allow the situation to affect what you got going on with this person. Affect the children. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? But I feel like you can't go as far as you're trying to go because you... But I feel like the devil is it, kind of like it's a... I feel like it's a good restriction because you need to stay put because there's actually happiness that you can find where you're at. Like, you don't have to go so far. <clears throat> maybe you're just like i'm leaving this and i'm leaving you and i'm leaving everything and i'm starting over and meh, you know and and i get that energy of wanting to do that but we also have to be realistic and not allow our you know mind to kind of just talk us into things what's this devil energy you have the eight of swords in reverse the sun in reverse and the knight of pentacles yeah with the eight of pentacles in reverse it's kind of like you know that you're not trapped anymore with the devil like you know that with the eight of swords in reverse okay with the sun in reverse and the knight of pentacles it's like you're not completely free of the devil though and you know that now like i feel like that's what that's what the universe wants you to know like no you can't you can't like i don't know what the devil is but you know that you can't just be like bye right for whatever reason so i feel like the universe just wants you to be away from this person with solitude be 
you know, you're, you're going to spend a lot more time away from the energy, which will help you. I feel like it's like you're going to be removing yourself from the devil energy slowly. Not as quickly as you wanted it to, but you will, all right? Things happen at the time that they're supposed to, not when we want them to. Where is this Ten of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Queen of Cups? Yeah, the Six of Cups in reverse, the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords, with the Knight of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. I feel like um, you need to stay put because I feel like something good is going to come out. Like It's kind of like... Just stay put. Something is going to come into your space. You're going to get some type of communication. It's going to make you really happy here. That things are going to be moving forward. Things are going to be a lot more successful. Things are going to be a lot smoother than if you were to move to California. Right? Even though the situation doesn't seem convenient right now, I feel like it will, it will, you will see how something could work out or be successful. Because again, I feel like, like I said, if you, if you was to move to, to California, yeah, you would have made it, but you would have been struggling, you know, or something like that. Or you would have had a lot of challenges and burdens. But I feel that there's a communication that's going to come in that's going to show you or give you some type of insight on, okay, I guess it's not that bad or something like that. All right. I'm going to give you some advice now. What's adventures in reverse, dive deep in reverse, and turn away? You have victory. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of victory and success if you turn away from whatever you're not having fun anymore. Whatever you're not emotionally connected to, leave it. No matter how much time and energy you put into it, no, no matter if it's a family situation, whatever, it's time for you to go. Okay? You have deceit because they're doing you wrong. What's asked for help, focus, and support in reverse? They want you to stick around for their own pleasure. You have a woman holding a heart. Yeah, there is somebody here who has true and honest intentions for you. Even if you broke it off, even if you stop talking to this person, they still are holding love for you. Or you're still holding love for them. And then you have four chakra in reverse. And then the other people don't love you. Like you, it, it's like, it's like, it's so obvious. Like one, one part, there's so much love and so much. Yeah. And then the other one is like crickets. Dry, cold, you're shivering. You need like 4,000 sweaters, you know, choose wisely. What is solitude and gateway in reverse? You have first chakra in reverse, okay? I feel like, yeah, your foundation is not solid yet, Scorpio. Would you want to go to California? Hell yeah. But you know deep, you know, it's kind of like you, you got to think about your security first. It's not, your foundation is not secured 100% for you to be taking such a crazy risk, all right? And then you have door to door to value. Yeah, it's like it wasn't, you weren't going to get the value that you wanted in California, which is why the universe is like, just sit put, just sit, sit put for a little bit. We got you. All right, you have deceit at the bottom of the deck again. Scorpio, you need to remove yourself from someone who is deceitful in your life. I don't care what you have to do, bro. Go stay at your mom's for a little bit. Go stay at your sister's, at your brother's. I don't care. There, This deceit energy keeps following. This is the second time I saw this card. There is somebody who you need to take care of. And I don't want to hear your excuses. A lot of y'all have oh, some excuses sometimes. Oh, well, I have to take care of this. And I but the, but the, and ka, 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 ka. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell you. Let, let me put you on to a little secret. Okay? Um, five years ago, maybe six, I maxed out one of my credit cards and rented a hotel room for a whole month to escape an ex. To leave an ex. Yeah, I did that. And guess what? I paid off that credit card. But I put, I did that. I put myself in a debt, right, to get myself out of a situation. So I don't want to hear your excuses. You know what I'm saying? That's why I come on here on some. I've done, and that's just, that's just a little, that's just a little thing. I've done, y'all don't even want to know my life, okay? So I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I, I don't want to hear it, Scorpio. Somebody is playing games with you. Could be somebody in your family. Happy family in reverse, caring connections could be somebody who you want to be with, but the connection is not there anymore. You stop. Stop. For real. 
All right, I'm gonna be the one to tell you stop because this deceit card did not follow you from here over here for no reason. Do what you have to do, I don't care. And if you don't do something, the deceit will just get bigger and bigger, Scorpio. Will get bigger and bigger. The universe always supports those that are trying to get away from people that are doing them wrong. So don't be scared and do it all. You don't think I was scared? You don't think I was scared? But I still did that. I said, no, I know I'm not, I know I'm being done wrong and I know I don't deserve this. So I'm going to do what I have to do to prove that. And guess what? The universe showed up and less than a week, I found a place. I didn't, I, I didn't even have to rent out the whole month because within a week, I found the place to live. That was, like I said, that was five years ago, whatever. But, but that is a true freaking story. And look how, and that's why I come out here and I'm so heavy on the, it's worth it. Do the risk. Take the sacrifices. There is always a way. I didn't have money, so I, I used my credit card. Did I want to? No, but I had to. I had to. And I and until this day, I don't regret it. I will never regret it. Until this day, I will always do what's best for me. I will always take a risk. Always. Because there's people who are in the background wishing on your demise, hoping and praying on your demise. I've, I've been through that so many times in my life, Scorpio. I've learned to save yourself first. Always. Okay? I love you. I'm sorry if I felt like I was screaming, but I just really don't want you guys to be around people who um, are spitting in your cereal every day because you don't deserve that. Okay? All right, Scorpio, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this. And stay positive.